Boston Seawall is no stranger to parades, with Mardi Gras being one of the biggest events there every single year. But today, there was a different kind of procession. Beads and floats were not the focus this time. Instead, caps, gowns, and graduates. Channel 2's Bill Barajas live along the seawall where Ball High School seniors had, well, a ball. Bill? <laughs> Yeah, that is an understatement. It was quite the turnout and such a beautiful day for it. Now, we are here along 69th and the seawall in this entire area, which is crowded with purple and gold, proud parents, happy students, and just an overall feeling of excitement, something they haven't had in quite some time. There was a sea of purple and gold. The class of 2020 lined up along the seawall and were decked out in their camping gowns. Their proud parents were at their side as they were cheered on, honored by what seemed to be the entire island. It's pretty, it's pretty rare that we come out like together like this, especially for us. We feel very special. It wasn't quite what they had pictured when the school year started, but it's a situation they were trying to make the best of. It's kind of sad that, you know, COVID has taken over all this stuff. But I mean, at least I have all my friends. The parade is just one of the many ways teachers and faculty have stepped up to show their students just how much they care. Last week, they put up this graduation banner, which students were still using as a photo op today. Well, I guess they're just trying to cheer us up, and they're um, trying to <laughs> make us this year a little bit better. They're small gestures, but ones these young adults and their families won't soon forget. And I am told the last day of school is scheduled for May 22nd. I am also told that school officials will continue to honor these seniors, this senior class, uh, through the month of May. And they are planning a gradu graduation ceremony for June 22nd. Live in Galveston, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Oh, awesome to see all those smiling seniors, Bill. Thank you.